Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make these great pocket pillows or book pillows. So you can see here it's got a pocket on the front and it has a zipper in the back so that you can easily change the cover. Now this one here is in a bright colour for a uh, youngster and uh, they look just great. But you can, don't have to make them just for kids, you can also make them for adults. And you can see here I've got a couple that uh, have been made in a more adult fabric and again they still have the pocket and the zipper on the back so let's get on and show you how to make them so here's what you need you'll need a piece of fabric 18 by 18 and that's for the front you'll need a piece of fabric 18 by 19 for the back a piece of fabric 18 by 20 for your pocket another piece for the trim which will be 18 by one and a half then you're also going to need a zip and you'll want 16 inches or longer and you'll want an insert. So we've got an 18 by 18 insert. So the first thing we're going to do is make the pockets. So you take your piece of fabric that's 18 by 20 and you make sure that you have the 18 width facing towards you and then you're going to fold it in half, match up the edges and we're going to give it a good press along the fold. So that's what that'll look like. And then we're going to take the trim. Now here's our trim. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half and press it. Then we'll open it up and then take each edge into that center line like this. I'll show you in a moment what it's going to look like when it's done. Okay, so we're going to fold those two pieces in and then we're going to fold the whole thing together. And this is what it'll look like when it's done. You can see here look like that and what we've done is pressed along the fold in the middle and then press the two ends into the middle folded the whole thing together and when we've done that we're going to place this along here okay so we'll pop our folded edge not the raw edge that's down to down the side so the folded edge goes into the trim and you just pin it in place Okay, so see, it's like that. And then you'll sew it with about an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch along the edge. And that'll give us our nice edging. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished. Okay, so that's our pocket piece finished and we can put that aside for now. So now we're going to work with the back of our fabric and we're going to be putting a zip in the middle. So what you need to do is take the piece of fabric that is 19 by 18 and lay it on your mat. Now have the piece of with the 19 inches facing towards you this time and we're going to measure it nine and a half inches and we're going to cut across there so we'll have two pieces of fabric measuring 18 by nine and a half. Now I've already cut this so I'll just pull it apart and there you go I have my two pieces of fabric. So now we need to draw a line along each of these pieces of fabric a half an inch in from the edge so all I did was take my ruler line it up on the half inch mark and I've drawn a line across here and I've done the same on this side. So once we have drawn our line, we need to press that half inch back. And you can see that I've done that on this piece. So all I do, now I have a directional print, so I have to be very careful how I fold, how I turn my fabric. So I'll just turn it towards me like that. And then I will just press along that line and give that a good press as well. So we've got those all pressed nicely in place. And the next thing I'm going to do is just push that open, that edge open. And I'm going to draw a line Two, in, two inches in from this edge here and I'm just going to draw a mark across here and I'm going to do the same on the other side so just open the flap and just draw a two in, line two inches in and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other ends down here so I will draw a line two inches in from each edge. So once we've pressed these pieces down and we've drawn our lines the next thing is to just pick the two ends up two pieces up and bring them together. Okay, so we want all of those edges matching. And what we're going to just do now is pop a pin, just make sure I've got my ends together, and pop a pin into that line just to hold everything together. And I'll do the same at this end. So that's how your piece of fabric is going to be looking at the moment. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sew from the edge into the line and you can do a tie off stitch if your machine does it or you can do a little back stitch and I'm going to do exactly the same at this end come into the mark and do a little back stitch okay so now I've done that I've sewn in from the two inches and I've done that at each end and then I've pressed the whole thing down so all the way along and you can see here I have an opening and that's going to be for the zip the next thing we're going to do is add the zip so we're going to sew the zip into the the opening here so the first thing I do is I take my ruler and I'm going to measure one and a half inches from the edge I've already done it as you can see but one and a half inches from the edge and do a, a line and make sure it goes out a bit because you want to be able to see where that line is when you lay the zip down so one and a half inches from that end and again one and a half inches from this end and as you can see I've extended the line so then I'm going to take my zip I'm just going to lay it down on top of the uh, the line it doesn't matter that it's over because we're going to sew across there anyway and make sure that your zip is face down so the zipper pull is facing so that it will go through the opening right just open the zip a bit lay that down there and we're going to sew across here as well now what you can do is you can get a glue stick and you can run along here and that'll hold your, your zip nicely in place until you've sewn it in or you can just pin it that's entirely up to you so I've got my zip glued in and I've added a couple of pins at each end, one at each end just to hold it in place uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew across here where that line was, our one and a half inch line and I'm going to go back and forwards a couple of times then I'm, with my zipper foot I'm going to sew, sew along the outer edge here all the way down until I get to my other line and I'm going to do the same thing holding the, the teeth in place and I'm going to sew across there a couple of times then I'll sew down the outer edge coming down here and then this is what it'll look like okay you can see here that I've sewn across at this end and then just sewn down across at this end and up here and then I'll trim those off So you can see that I'm approaching the zipper head, so I'll just come down and I'll stop and keep the needle in the down position and lift the foot and then just pop under and you need to work that zipper head just past the, the zipper foot. Okay, and then we just continue sewing. and we're ready to turn and sew down the other side so now that my zip is in I'm just going to trim off these edges so I just get my scissors and cut off the end and the same at this end So now we take our piece that's 18 by 18, this is our front piece, and we place it with the pattern side up, facing towards you, and we take our pocket piece and lay it on there. Now we just want to make sure that all those edges line up nicely. Now you can do a basting stitch around here if you wish, just to hold everything in place. And then we take our, our piece with the zipper in. Now make sure that the zipper is open by about halfway. We want to be able to turn our cushion cover through at the end. So now we're just going to lay that down and we're going to line that all up nice and neat as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a half inch seam all the way around this cushion and then what I generally do is I just come right across and sew off and then start again and come down all the way down and the same at the other ends and uh, just take some care when you're sewing down past here where you've got the, all these layers to make sure things don't move so make sure they're well pinned Okay, so I've sewn it round with a 
half inch seam and I've clipped my corners so as you can see here I've clipped across the corner and just cut back some of the bulk um, you can do that if you wish or not it's up to you and now I'm just going to turn it through to the right side and now you'll see why we left the zip open so that we can easily turn it through just give the corners a quick poke but I'll tidy them up after So what you'll do is you'll actually get a, a blunt item and push those corners out properly. And here we have it. So there's our pocket pillow, or our pocket book pillow. So there we have it. Our pocket pillow is finished. We have our pocket on the front. We have our zipper on the back so that we can easily change the cover when we need to. Now if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And also you'll find the written instructions over on the website.